Um, congratulations. You came all the way from the student games to this and you know it's a huge difference in terms of the weather and even the competition. Um, what's it like for you? Can you talk us through what your experience been like since you came down here? Oh yeah, so basically coming after uh, a long season at NCAAs, I kind of shut it down for a little bit. Uh, I didn't race for around two months. I went to World University Games just to kind of get some race under me. I feel a like competition again. And uh, I mean, uh, World University Games, it was hot. China, Chengdu, it was just about just as hot, if not hotter uh, than here. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not too much adjusting in terms of the temperature, more like the time zone, really. Uh, because after I went to China, I went to Belgium for, for a small meet over there just to adapt to the European time, and then I came here. Uh, but overall, World Championships, it's great. Great crowd, uh, weather's behaving. This is good sprinting weather, it's hot. But uh, it's really good spreading weather because the wind is minimal. And uh, yeah, I expect a lot of fast times to come in the rounds to, to come. I mean, you've seen with the hundreds, uh, I didn't have the best hundred. Uh, kind of got stuck in the blocks and I didn't execute my race. Uh, but I try to put that race past me, focus on the 200 and just make sure that uh, I'm putting myself in the best uh, position to succeed. Okay. So, so yeah. I want you to look at South Africa. Um, it's must be a good time for sprinting now. You have three South African men actually in these 200 meters. What do they say? Um, how do you feel about that level of competition? Oh. And why is it that with that levels and strength, you still have a four by one team here? Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, we are, we're developing a lot of sprinters. Uh, it's, it's always been in the come up. There's always, always been sprinters here and there, but now we're seeing a, a, a wave of them. And uh, we have a solid four by one team on paper. So all we gotta do is just really focus on the exchanges, uh, make sure we get the chemistry right. And I feel like we'll be a force to reckon with. We have two guys, uh, sub 10, the relay, and I, two guys uh, who are brand sub 20 as well on the relay. So, you know, that's a, that's a powerful team. And uh, we have the foot speed. It's just a matter of execution and making sure we get the stick around and we know we'll be a force to reckon. So that means going forward to next year now is Paris, is African Games, is Africa Championships. You have, and also World Relays. Uh, are you walking towards any of those competitions? Oh yeah, yeah. Paris Olympic Games for sure. African champs, not so much, because I'll still be in my middle of my collegiate season. I don't want to miss too much school. I, I fin I'm finishing off my degree, so uh, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I get the degree above anything, and then obviously uh, shift my focus towards Tokyo. Because uh, Tokyo is going to be big, going to be really, really big, really going to make a statement there. So uh, that's what we're working towards. And uh, overall, just having fun. You know, there's a lot of competitions to come. I'm still pretty young. And um, I'm here to enjoy it, run for my country, put on the green and gold and shine. All right, thank you so much. All thank the you. best in the thank you. Thank you.